Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have a wonderful big demon game. And we're talking Felbat big demons. And one of the common questions that I have in chat very, very, very often whenever we take demons is, where are you trying to go with this? If you just get a hold of a bunch of big stats, you're just going to lose two real boards. You can't just build a bunch of like 40-40 demons and think, hey, that's going to somehow win this lobby. Well, that's where the beauty that is Reborn My Exness comes in. Being able to go to six, play for Felbat, potentially even Golden Felbat, and gradually accumulate the tools to Reborn a couple of My Exness and maybe play Selfless Hero or Ghoul or whatever around it, turns your board from just being a bunch of random demons to consolidating the stats down onto like three or four demons and then replacing the bad ones with situational tools that are capable of beating your opponents. Turns out Selfless Hero and Ghoul are pretty much uniformly good in this game. And Reborn Poison? Yeah, that one's pretty busted. All right, enjoy. First, a one hit point with nice block up is Akazam. That is feels good, man. There's no pair on the board. All right, Malagos, you're letting me down. This is a hell of a hit. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Hmm. It. Where'd the ghost go? Oh shit! Ghost! The fuck is the ghost? Good call. Ghost! I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Here's the ghost! Once a day. Can't have time. a stream without a ghost. Not at this time Don't of year. Plan it. Don't wait for it. Just let it happen. It could be a new shirt at the men's store. In your office chair, or two cups of good hot black coffee, like this, a present, like Christmas. There we go, chat. There you go. Good looking out. This is why we didn't hit our triple. There's no ghost. We had the ward off the bad RNG. We just failed to do so. It's so obvious now. Cool, 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 cool. Getting spanked? Not really. This is a very good game. This is great. Like this is a very, very good start to a game.
Is he drinking? Nah, you just gotta learn how to play the game in this meta, my friend. Okay. Not exactly the ideal thing to consume, but... Gotta bank the gold in hand. Not bad, not bad. Only turn seven. We're milking the ever living shit out of this game. Quick pivot turn? Yeah. Once we got a hold of the, the triple, it just opened the door. Gimme, give gimme give all death rattles. Let's go. Too bad we can't get this thing to die. One, two. If this thing dies, we're sitting pretty. Let's go economy. Damn. Yay. Damn yay. Oh, we got a got a hound master as well. Oh. Oh, look at the economy. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'll take it. It's a tie. We got scammed on the round, but we will take this economy. Get a ghost turn too. Uh, going the 6. Seems like I'm going the six. Fish for a wing condition. It's only turn eight. No. Yeah. You put a fourth one on the board. Haven't we seen the exact same thing last night with Lee on Mally? I don't know. I wasn't watching at the time. Could be. Considering the guy is pretty good at the game, some would say. Would say fairly likely that you see him pull off this kind of shenanigans. Alright, we get one proc. Pretty much always get two. Three. And it's just a question mark on the last hits. Unfortunately, we don't get an air proc here. Unless he hits it. Well, he could have gotten two of them. You were playing against him? Eh, it all blends together, dude. I gotta be a bit careful here, because we are pretty weak. We could die. Hmm. Alright, these are not things. Okay, Bobby. Okay, Bob. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. 
Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. It's about all we could do for the turn. We have to flush the, the bad minions. I ain't seen you pet a dog. That's why it says suggest, my friend. You don't get to dictate what I do with my life. That's up to me if I want to do it. But unfortunately for you, with the whole call out there, it's just not going to happen. Uh-uh-uh-uh. No, sir. I'll pet the dog when I damn well please. Especially not when she's sleeping. Come on, my friend. We can do better. So we definitely want the ghoul. Do we want to take the Myxna? The ghoul has to be played for the turn. We probably take the second Felbat, and then we take the Myxna, and we look for triples. And we look for Reborn. Razul's really cool. It's good scaling, but I think we just eat it. Alright, well that's happening. Awkward, but it's happening. Well, I understand the ramifications of my actions when it comes to, like, consuming the board with Felbat and whatnot, but I don't think we have another option for the turn. It's so awkward on gold. We have to play down a minion. We have to start eating the board. But it gives us our direction that we need. We put a million stats on this board with a ghoul. Like, we're pretty strong. We're a little weak to poison. We have to play the ghoul this turn, right? Like, you can't play another demon. Not really an option. Well, our hits are incredibly bad. How about we don't die? That's our goal now. Just don't die. I didn't ask for much, Bob. I really didn't. You gave me the bare minimum. Take over max damage on a 30% to lose. Feels bad, man. But we do get a ghost turn. So you play for my Exna. And what? That's my Exna. Reborn. <laughs> okay, Bobby. What a polarizing game. We get super lucky, then we get super unlucky, then we get super lucky again. What's the pivot after this point? Seven. We probably keep Ghoul around. Two Tribe Amalgadon. We probably take this shot. Because it also gives Urzul a target. Yeah, yeah, awkward. We only have four minions on the board. We're taking a break after that first consume. Okay, now the second consume. It's fine. Yeah, I don't like dropping the ghoul. That we really want a ghoul on most of these boards after this point. But getting the second Urzul is pretty nice. Don't fall for his tricks. Bob being mean. Alright, so we're going to play the ghoul again. Good hit on the ghoul. We probably should just do this. 
Then again, we could try for the second Myxna. Play it over Razul. Probably the better play, actually. Dear Lord, Bobby. You're being so kind today. Very kind at the start of this day. Is that an above average or below average board? Six and a half stats, approximately, on a six star board on the average unit. Four, eight, five, eight, six, twelve. Pretty damn close. We'll play one higher. I think we got burnt a little bit. Seven, four, four, two, twelve, six. Weak. Maybe we'll just get lucky. Does the Nomi get big enough to beat us? Is the question. It's not Nomi, it's a uh, light spawn. Should've just tipped Bob. Yeah, I mean, it's a risk. Yeah, we ate the big ones. It went reasonably well. Still alive, feeling good. Breakpoint's bad on the taunt. Breakpoint's bad there too, unfortunately. Looks like we don't kill him. So we have four tribe or four demons scaling off of Golden Felbat plus two reborn Myxnas. And a ghoul to boot. Too bad we don't fight the George. We should be way better against the George than the other guy. But we are really strong here. Really all we do from this position is play for triples. We're not going to cycle a spot through. I'd pick up another ghoul if I saw it. Well, it's selfless. Or Baron for selfless. Probably not. Against this guy, these guys could be bad. Just not worthwhile to pick up. You can buy two gold off of this board. Or buy a minion off that board, I should say. Nine, five, six, six, ten, seven. Slightly above average. You get two boards to roll for, though. That one's trash. This one's about equivalent to the last one. Eight, six, eight, six, five, ten. Bruh, triple right at the end of your turn. Playing down to the wire. This is the triple you're looking for. The triple you're looking for. Reborn my exes are pretty good against the five minion board. <laughs> you gotta chuckle at that one. Considering two snakes killed four out of five minions. Or two spiders. Yo, what's up, Jonak? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I am. I'm a little slow waking up. For like, you know, streaming waking up. But overall, good day. Life is pretty good. All right, now we can cycle something through. If we get anything. I thought there's a lot that we could really do here. I mean, that's something I can do there. Is there anything else we would play? Why does my ex know reborn? Because there's a card that gives reborn to beasts. And we used it. We play for this triple. And maybe bait here, actually. Not my Axna. <laughs> we can hear a power to make these things into better minions. These are pretty good minions for their tavern tier, though. 
stats wise. That's good too. Honestly, they're all just too good to pass on or to change. These are good minions for their tavern tiers. Seven off of a seven, eight, eight, twelve, five, nine. Like it's an incredibly good board to eat. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, it's just that it's a unit that exists in the game. Reborn Rattler, or whatever it's called, Reanimating Rattler. Gives Beasts Reborn. AKA, a pretty good minion to have on the last board. You're gonna need more, more shields. We have a higher unit count than him. Which is why we always win this. It really just comes down to how many units are on the board. So we're going to win rounds until he makes up the unit count. He needs to like triple that. Whatever the fuck it's called. Boar. <laughs> he needs to triple the boar into a. Uh, into like my ex or whatever. And he would have even number of units with us. Gym splitter. Yeah, that's the one. He did triple it, unfortunately. If he hits my Exna, he's even with us. We can't play this triple. Because we move three total units down into effectively one unit, right? We can't do that. We need something, first of all, to take that spot. And like, Sefin is a really good option. That we have Bank of Sefin in hand plus something. Usually you lose to George if it goes too late here. Because George can just play up one minion on you. It's actually kind of irrelevant. These stats don't matter. Because there's nothing on the board other than the taunt that actually value trades this taunt. He really should lead with the 84, 86. Because it value trades this. Like this thing? Should be first position up here for him. Because it can kill this and not die to the Myxna. Like if he has this guy here in position one, that kills there and gives him an extra unit on the board, right? That's the biggest deal to us. Is that he's kind of giving us that, that extra hit. If he figures that out, then we'll be down one minion on him. Selfless itself needs to be later too. So it doesn't go off before the ghoul. Like he should take that divine shield and slam it straight into this to start. Golden imp mama. <laughs> Emotional support imp mama in the hand. There's so little we can do in one turn here. We can't take this. This is throwing. I, I'm really just kind of fishing for a good board to consume. And this one's decent. As long as we transform this into something with decent stats. Good, 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 good. This is above average too. Do we leave it? Uh, he's at six, so we play for win rate. Wouldn't the Golden Mama be better than the Smallest Devourer? How so? A 58 kills every unit on his board. Golden Mama doesn't. He does get the first hit correct there. The 1 in 4, unfortunately. But we need these things to kill this. This is a huge deal. This needs to kill this. Well, we have a coin flip here. There we go. All right, you got your 25 percenter. Extra minions counter smaller poisons. They really don't, though. There's only one hits, and then you get the little demons. They don't kill anything. It's not like they're three health things. They're 10 to 11. And the only two in the back are the only relevant ones. He got his order right this time. 
There's a Seffen. Could have considered picking it up, actually. Yeah, there's just no reason to. Nice board to eat. This is why I don't drag over across my main minions. You see it unclick there? We could do that one or this one. Alright, it is what it is. Yeah, it really comes down to there's a death rattle here that actually has an effect, but this unit does kill all the minions up front too. And we don't get to dictate all the trades. So I don't value the Golden Imp Mama higher than I would value the Soul Devourer. Unfortunately, we low rolled a fight, and now he's coming back because this thing can value trade. Oh, he figured it out. Finally, after five rounds, he put the duo in first position, so value trades here. Notice how much better his win rate is. Took a minute, but he got it. That'll do. Cool, cool. Yeah, he should have been uh, a lot more favored there. Like, it should have been a lot closer fights. We just got really lucky. All right, first game, first win. That's a good... Uh, it's a fun one to discuss. Oof. Uh, explains it. <laughs> what happened with that lobby? 67 point first. At 11.7. <laughs> just a lower...